Hello, everybody. Hope uh, you're all doing well. Oh, my mic stand's a little loose. One second. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. Oh. So, <laughs> we are back with some good old uh, SD Gundam G Generation Crossrays. Hey, Perishable, how's it going? Man, it's freaking cold up here now. How'd it go? It be going. How are you be? <laughs> All the oh, the move? The move went great. Yeah, the move went uh, really, really well. Took as long as we thought. We had the house set up actually a lot faster than we initially thought we would. So, that's a bonus. Our internet was hooked up very simply, as in we did it ourselves. They sent us the stuff and five steps to set up your internet, five steps to set up your cable. I'm running off of Wi-Fi again. I'm not using my uh, adapters at all, my uh, power line adapters, no ethernet cable. I'm running solely off of Wi-Fi and well, it's better than the Wi-Fi back where I was. <laughs> I'm in rural, rural, rural Canada, and the internet is better than an actual, you know, big, biggish city. I'll take it. <laughs> I will fucking take it. It has been really good so far. I haven't had to really change any of my settings. There's some drops here and there, but that's just how Wi-Fi is. But they don't last very long. I just have to get used to the cold around here. It is still snowing. We just had snow. How'd that Pokemon run go? Uh, I mean, I... Stop not too long, I think, after you left. I haven't really continued on from it yet. I probably will at some point, though. I just have, you know, a million other things happening at once. <laughs> God damn. I think I may just have bad circulation. <laughs> but, anywho. We are continuing on with some good old SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. I kind of looked it up. Apparently, I'm already halfway through Mobile Suit Gundam. Apparently. Or it's just fucking cold. Uh, no, I think it's me having bad circulation, because it's like just one hand is actually kind of cold. So that's just me. That's a me problem. Just probably just how I'm resting my arm on things. I still have feelings, so. Yeah. I'll figure it out. It probably won't be nearly as bad once it does actually get warmer. But I mean, like, as it stands right now, where I am, it is... Okay, it's only it's one degrees Celsius. But it feels like negative <laughs> five. Okay, Monday's gonna be great. High of one... Low of negative 11. Oh, Saturday is going to be even fucking better. High of minus 4 and a low of minus 13. Kill me now. <laughs> Can let your arms drop to your sides until you make a fist for a minute or two. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. There's also just a bit of a chill, that's all. Meh, still. Nothing unbearable, I'll tell you that much. It's nothing unbearable. I've worked inside of freezers for, like, way too long. Freezes blood flow to the hands? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes uh, total sense. Uh, obviously, whenever you hurt your feet and they tell you to elevate it so blood doesn't rush to it, and, well, you feel when the blood rushes, rushes to an uh, injured foot. So, yeah, just keep it low. Let the blood flow down. Yeah, 
I'll be good. Whew. Where am I here now? That's right. So I'm a lot farther than we thought we'd I'd be. In general. Like, I mean, that was episode 1 and 2. This was, like, episode probably in the 10s. It's 20-ish there. It's same with this. A lot of time has passed. <laughs> and I mean a lot of time. So, uh, just to summarize what uh, we did go through last time. Back in Garma Strikes, we landed on Earth and uh, we're in the middle of... Zeon territory had to deal with ground forces from Garma Zabi, one of the uh Oh my god, these people don't know how to shut the fuck up in this in these scenes. Had to deal with Garma Zabi, the leader of the ground forces on Earth. Well, he was also getting backup from Shar. It was a simple enough of a mission. Cut to this one, uh well, Shar had apparently gotten Garma killed, which we knew about. Because he wanted to kill the zombies themselves. In this one, we're in the middle of the desert. Why is it echoed? And we ran into Ramba Rao, who was there to help... Oh, it's Giren's speech. Fuck. I'm just gonna open that for a second. Maybe that'll stop them from talking like a madman. So we ran into Ramba Rao, who was uh, out there to take out White Base solely to take revenge for Garma, because, well, that's what he was asked to do by High Command. He took the mission because if he does it, he'd immediately get a two-rank promotion and his men would benefit from it as well. And we unfortunately had to kill him, even after Amuro, the pilot of the Gundam, kind of had an out-of-combat, uh, you know, chat with him. They were just in the same place at the same time, and he was very cordial to him. That just kind of shows that not everyone on opposite sides of the war are complete and utter evil dickbags. They're just people. <laughs> so, our next mission we're going to be doing is Tragedy in Jaburo. We're finally at the base we wanted to be at from the beginning. We'll see what happens. I know exactly what happens here. But we'll see what happens in the mission itself. Because as it looks like right now, we're going to be dealing with... Aquatic shit. Which, yeah, that happened. So, we're gonna start it and see what the hell happens and enjoy my shitty voice acting once again. Yeah, it skips all over to Odessa. Side three to Chikyu Otsunagu, Jion Kokokugun, Saida Ino Kozan Kichi, Odessa. Yes, to take back a mine on Earth, they used a third of their military force. Which, to remind everyone, the Federation has about six times the size of Xeon's army. Granted, Xeon has mobile suits, whereas the Earth Federation has fighter jets and tanks. And the only mobile suits they have are, are the gun tank, the gun cannon, and the Gundam itself. Mobile suits are new to the Federation. Xeon made the fucking things. <laughs> Really? We're skipping over the entirety of the Black Tri-Stars? Alright, whatever. Yeah, Lieutenant Mat uh, Matilda died. Yeah, 
Even more PTSD for Amuro. It's just pile all the trauma on him. Yeah, and the and the woman every man on white base was simping for died. <laughs> I'm also amazed they left out that fucking uh, Ryu died a little earlier as well after the whole Ramba Rao fight. He also sacrificed himself. しかし、戦火の中に散っていった命一つ一つもその深い悲しみを慰める <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in Jaburo, middle of South America. Jaburo ni chiru. Yep, Jaburo, South America. This man's name is Woody. Woody Malden. Woody is Malden, guys. <laughs> I don't know how a plastic toy can mold, but he is. <laughs> White base. Welcome to Jaburo at last. Seems you suffered a great deal of damage. Much more than the report we received. The White base has seen quite a bit of action. All right, inspection. Lieutenant Woody. I'm Bright Noah. The white base is under my command. Well done. So is the pilot Amaro Ray here? That's me. What is it? Your Amaro? I heard about you from Matilda. I had no idea you were so young. From Lieutenant Matilda? <laughs> oh yeah, I think they were engaged. <laughs> um... Lieutenant Woody, what was your relationship to Lieutenant Matilda? Uh, yes. Matilda and I were planning on getting married after Operation Odessa was over. Well, that didn't happen. That's never gonna happen now. Guess what? If you live in the Universal Century, don't have uh, a love interest of any kind, in any way, shape, or form. One or both of you are going to die. That's just how it is in the Universal Century. If you have some kind of girlfriend, wife, husband, boyfriend, crush, one or both of you is going to die horribly, and the other will be traumatized for life. That's the Universal Century. <laughs> Married? Yes, because the crew of the White Base would all be in Jaburo afterwards. Matilda wanted you all to come to the wedding. Oh, I had no idea. I... I'm sorry, Lieutenant Woody. If only I piloted my Gundam better. Lieutenant Matilda wouldn't have had to die. I'm sorry. Get over yourself, Amaro. Do you really think one Gundam could save Matilda? Or maybe even win the entire war? No. The Gundam is only one small part of the war. As a pilot, all you can do is focus your all on the battle at hand, and ensure you spare no effort. 
Matilda made the white base what it is today. And that's what it mean that's why it means so much to me too. That's why I'm doing everything I, I can to repair it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, oh. That's all we can do as human beings. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, shit happens, it sucks, but we gotta keep going. What a fucking shot that is. <laughs> Looks like the Trojan horse made it to Jabiro. The f that nose. Its signal has disappeared. No question about it. That means we've identified the largest entry into Jabiro. I want a thorough investigation of the location where the signal disappeared. Request reinforcements from California base. Yes, sir. An opportunity to smash the Federation HQ? Now that we've lost Odessa, time is no longer on our side. Which means... Our only option is to hit Jabiro hard. End the war. Yes. Exactly right. This fucking guy and his massive ass nose. My god. And we'll be going after the Trojan horse? Of course. We'll infiltrate, infiltrate Jaburo as an advanced team. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a good voice for Char. I feel bad about that. The char is amazing. <laughs> but also a loser at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, the Chad Slager Laws arrived! <laughs> I'm sorry, if you know anything of the OG series, Slager Law is just like this, yo, what up? I'm just kind of here, I look like a bonehead. I'm just kind of being a cool dude all the time. <laughs> Yo, where's the captain of the white base? I gotta give him a kind of shitty accent here. I'm sitting shitty voice. Why are you asking? Where is he? Oh, Lieutenant Bright, you have a visitor. Hmm? What is it? Slugger Law, Lieutenant Junior Grade. As of today, I'm assigned to the white base. Mirai, have you heard about this? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's true, apparently. <laughs> you followed me. I can't wait to work with such a beautiful woman. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking slugger. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Ensign Mirai. You know, the XO of the ship. So, one of your commanding officers. So, back up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mirai is the XO of White Base, somehow. She pilots the ship, so that just makes her second in command, I guess. Not that she's actually very good at being in full command. She tried that once to give Bright, um... A break and it didn't really go well from what I recall from the series. Nice to meet you, Miss Mirai. You have the white base's helm, right? Well, I have to respect that. I mean, most women wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Fucking Christ. That's from the 70s, people. Just a reminder, the original Gundam was made and written in 1979 in the 80s. <laughs> Just a reminder. It was just luck in a life or death situation. We barely made it to Jabiro. 
that's not all there was to it. I can tell. You're an incredibly strong woman. That's... I mean... And fucking... Oh, God damn it! all these fucking... Ugh. Ugh. I do this to myself. I play these games that have, like, no fucking voice acting. And then do these stupid-ass voices myself. Hey, Mecha-san! Yo, and yeah, the future imagined the late 70s. <laughs> yeah, it's, um... Mmm, something. <laughs> I need to charge this controller. The behavior would be as crude as the te- mm hmm <laughs> You got that right! Oh my god. Uh, I just have to remember that all the time. It was written in a different time, they had different views on shit. <laughs> uh, whatever. Definitely can say it didn't age that well in that regard. Lieutenant, you certainly have a silver tongue. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, um, nice to meet you, Missy. Salem Mass. Hmm? You got man problems written all over your face, fucking slicker. God damn it. <laughs> I don't get why people have tr trouble just accepting this a product of the time and move on. Yeah. A lot of older cartoons, too, and all that. They were products of their time. Just... I do like what, uh... Yeah, what Warner Brothers did a lot with uh, a lot of their DVD releases and some of the older Looney Tunes and stuff. They do put a disclaimer and... Disclaimer that did say, this was written as a product of his time, so things aren't exactly, you know, not exactly, you know, politically correct or whatnot, but we're not going to change that. It's just, there's the disclaimer. This is a product of its time. There might be some offensive things in here, but this, we're just releasing it as it is anyway. We're not going to cover up what happened in the past. I almost feel like that's the best way to go about it without just completely butchering uh, something older to make it fit values of our time. But I mean, that's a huge debate and discussion in general. But I do like the Warner Brothers approach that they did. At least on the official DVDs and stuff. I think if they re-aired some of the stuff on television, some cartoons would probably just get cut. Like some episodes of it. Or censored in some way, which, I mean, if it's on live television, there's not much you can do on that front. If they want to do it there, fine. If you want to see the originals on DVD, that's also, that's fine then, too. Because, I mean, they edit things for TV all the time. I mean, when they throw movies on there, constant censoring, they speed things up or cut bits out to make it fit into that wonderful little time slot. Especially nowadays when I notice movies that play on just random ass channels. When they're ready to start the next program, the credits will happen, they'll throw it up in like the corner, and the credits will go by like in a million miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, right, display of came out today, that's bad. Yeah, if they, that kind of stuff came out now, yeah, it would be a big problem. It's like there's almost no excuse at this point to release stuff like that, and I can't even think of any kind of big example of how it could even be released now. If someone were to make something exactly the same with these exact same types of things. Hey, Yusuke, how's it going? Let me guess. You want your fact. Oh, you got, yeah, there it is. All right. Now you're going to make me really think here for one before I continue on. Ooh, 
yeah, that's definitely something that cannot be made nowadays. That is yee. very yee. They cut that out in the TV broadcast, understandably so. It's, it's actually kind of crazy what was allowed back then, or at least what was considered okay. I mean, even with stuff from like the past 10, 20 years now, things that at least I grew up with, looking back at it now, it's like, how was that allowed? It's, it's amazing how quickly uh, values can change and how everything progresses and we realize this is actually a terrible thing to be laughing at or making as a butt of a joke. Like, a uh, very simple common example is that I will admit I have been, I at the, in the past I was uh, very, very, you know, uh, guilty of saying it a few times was referring to something I didn't like or thought was wrong as being gay. That was in a lot of things. That was in a lot of, especially younger teens, uh, you know, vocabulary. Nowadays, you can't say that because that's just not right at all, obviously. That was, like, very prevalent in the last 20 years that people were saying that, but now it's, like, almost completely removed from everyone's vocabulary because, well, it's not right to say. <laughs> and, okay, I gotta get to your use case fact. Uh, no, we don't need that. Alright, so, Yusuke, your fact, and for everyone. While everyone believes that the Green Ranger in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or in its Sentai equivalent, uh, Kodi Sentai Ju Ranger, was the first Sixth Ranger, or at least he's known as the first Sixth Ranger, he was... He was just the first official long-term one. There was almost like a prototype Sixth Ranger four years earlier in the Sentai series Mask Man. In the form of X1 Mask. He appeared for like one or two episodes, I think maybe even one episode, to help out the main Mask Man team before losing his powers. He is very much a prototype of the Sixth Ranger. He's got a slightly different design suit than the rest of them. Well, I mean, in X1 Mask's case, he's a very differently designed suit compared to the main team. In fact, let me get a picture of the Mask Man team. And I spelt it wrong, because I typed too fast. Mask man. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And save, and there. I saved it. There it is. 
So there's the main Mask Man team next to X1 Mask, their Proto Sixth Ranger. His suit design is different. He has a sculpted mouth while and actual just separate eye visors while theirs doesn't. He's got a weird vest thing going on while they don't. Can't really see it in this, but he also has a white scarf around his neck while they do not. So, but the boots are somewhat similar. I mean, they're one solid color. They're a solid color with a stripe going down them, a white stripe. So he is a prototype for what becomes the Sixth Ranger in much later series, which obviously made famous by the original Green Ranger in Mighty Morphin or Jew Ranger. So the groundwork was kind of laid for X1 Mask. I mean for uh, Dragon Ranger or MMPR Green with uh, X1 Mask here. X1 Mask has also not appeared in anything else since that, like, episode. I, don't even, I think, don't even think he's ever been referred to, really, either. Much at all. He's just kind of this thing from Sentai Season long ago. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right about that, Mechasan. Being It being scary is different from being uh, politically incorrect. Okay, that, uh, Yusuke has multiple different answers depending on what you do. If you want to go with, uh, the, uh, what is it? If you want to go with the TV show verse, the first on-screen female Red Ranger was the SPD, uh, A-Squad Red Ranger. That was the first on-screen one. They were also an evil Ranger, unfortunately, so that's kind of next against them. If you want the first good uh, female Red Ranger, that would be in Power Ranger Samurai. And then uh, Cosmic Fury will have the actual first leading good mainstay character as a female Red Ranger. If you go by the comics continuity, that also has a million questions. If you want the first team on Earth, that would be the 1969 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that Zordon threw together real quick for one mission. That was led by a female uh, Red Ranger. If you go back even further, they're the people that eventually became the, uh, uh, what is it, the Emissaries that used the Die Ranger suits, and their leader was the Red Ranger. There's a million answers to that question. <laughs> I know way too much about Power Rangers. <laughs> but I don't care, I love it. I love that series. And now back to... Slegger just being... Slegger. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that he said fuck it and three of them died. It was he just put together the best people he thought would do for the job at hand. Not realizing that, you know, maybe these people should know each other so they'd be able to work together better. So let me just grab five people from all over the world during the middle of the fucking Cold War. Having one of them be Russian, for sure. Two of them working for the United States government, so there's a lot of distrust immediately. Also, the comics have to go, like... They get to go in more, uh, adult edge to them. I mean, the. Well, I think the Pink Ranger of the 1969 team died by getting their helm their helmet visor smashed open while they're on the fucking moon. So you know, literally, you know, just died from lack of oxygen. <laughs> Well, he wasn't from Earth, so he didn't think much of it. True, true, true. He's not from Earth. He's just, you know, like a 10,000-year-old uh, man in a tube. No, oh, man trapped in a tube. Uh, the comics like to tell you how he got into that tube, too. Because, of course, they do everything. They also tell you more about Lord Zed as well now. And a bit more about Rita, where the Phantom Ranger came from. 
and a million, million, million other things. But I like how they gave the reason for why morphers exist, though. Which is in a vacuum, never really affected Rangers, Power Rangers projects. Yeah, at least, yeah, in this series, they're very clearly on the moon, just wearing normal clothes so we can breathe fine. The comics continuity, not so much, apparently. Space is just space. You're on the moon, and you don't have anything to help you, and you're gonna suffocate. <laughs> There's just no air. <laughs> I mean, you don't even have to have ranger powers to be protected from the vacuum of space. So let's look at uh, Power Rangers in space, when the Black Ranger took a little kid's uh, just kind of gliding in space while he's just holding her on his shoulder. And a perfect vacuum. Yeah, Magnet Defender 2, uh, he was floating in space for god knows how long, no powers, and he was totally fine. <laughs> All the times they've been on the moon in general, like in Lost Galaxy, their random training mission in the like first episode, they're just regular people inside some old um, uh, Starship Troopers armor fighting nothing for training, and they were breathing fine. When they went back to the moon again in Forever Red, they were all breathing just fine. <laughs> Granted, by that point, they did have powers, but, I mean, that's besides the point. Everything has breathable air in space. The space has breathable air. They, no problem. Power Rangers is a mess. I mean, it's a kid's show, but it's still kind of a mess for science. It'll make anyone that actually knows anything about physics pull their hair out. <laughs> Yeah, that did happen in Gower Ranger, where a villain did in fact kill off four of the six of them. Just straight up murdered them. People die in Sentai all the time. It's unsurprising to me. They always die. Especially if an actor, you know, decides to quit. They'll just kill them off, no problem. Doesn't happen too much nowadays, but... Yeah, that's a thing. They have no problems uh, killing people. Alright, enough about Power Rangers. I've been here for almost an hour. We barely even got through this. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, where's my bunk? Fucking Slinger. I was literally two lines away from changing the scene. My god. Tangents can go on for so long. This is S Block. All systems nominal. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. As if there'd be anything to report from a place like this. Hey, Pimboimus, how's it going? Wait, what's that? Something happened? Bunch of act guys and a Zaguk. I've already forgotten how I did Akahana's voice immediately. Captain Sher. He found the entrance to Jabiro. Nice work, Akahana. Still, it seems suspicious, Captain. I can't imagine they just let us in so easily. The Jabiro Underground Base is the biggest military facility on Earth. Unless we hit the Underground Nerve Center as well, can't just destroy Jabiro from the surface. How old is this game? Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, 
It is seven years old. Came out in 2016. So this is a seven-year-old game, and I'm going to check when Cross Race came out. I know it's much newer. And Cross Race came out in 29... Okay, Cross Race is only four years old at this point. Wow, so when I started playing it, it was only like about a year, year and a half old. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Digimon World DS graphics nice. know where she is right now so I'll hold off on uh, grabbing her she might be trying to sleep again it's cold so she's got to curl up <laughs> I'll get her in a little bit don't lower your guard yes captain Shar. I hope we can reach the Trojan horse undetected but good luck with this stage. Ah, I'll be fine. Is that a siren I hear? Has the enemy really infiltrated Jabaro? Yes. <laughs> a Xeon mobile suit? Artesia? Casval? I can't believe it. My gentle big brother Casval has joined the Xeon military? Yes, I thought you would have realized this by now. Please resign from the military, Artesia. Casval? Captain! We located what appears to be the Trojan Horse. You have? Excellent. Artesia! Tell her to go away? No, you just had to say her name one last time, I guess. Casval! Gotta love this music. <laughs> the enemies invaded Jabaro. Why are you saying yes to that? How do you know they follow the whatever? I mean, they're clearly following White Base. They always follow White Base. Anywhere White Base goes, it immediately becomes a target. Yes, the enemy followed the White Base. Which means. The whole area around the space dock is in danger. I think... General HQ must have also issued an intercept order to the White Base. All hands! Stand by at level 2 battle stations! Mirai, keep the engine running. Understood. Launch all units as soon as the pilots return! Understood, Captain Bright! Yeah, we got Gundam, Gun Cannon, Gun Tank, right? Just how many enemy units made it in? Enough. Enough made it in. Fuck ton of act guys. Oh, hey, Jim. It's gonna get pwned. <laughs> that red mobile suit! Is it Char? Or is that Char? Oh my god, Mauled Man is coming in! <laughs> what? I won't let you touch Matilda's white base! Lieutenant Woody? You can't do anything in a hovercraft! Pull back! Yeah, you're gonna get owned, dude. 
I'll fire my missiles from point blank range! Is he insane? Yes. So I died immediately. And now, and now that's another person whose death is on your mind, uh, Amuro. And we're gonna keep unloading dump trucks worth of trauma onto you. Just dump trucks. <laughs> Lieutenant Woody! There's no doubt about it! That Char! He's here! Ugh. Damn you, Char! You won't destroy the white base! Yeah, okay. Oh, this is gonna be a shorter mission. It's I sortie immediately. And I'm not using that. I'm only using this team. In the Medea. Alright. We got it. We got this. Destroy Shark. Can Amro destroy Shark? Most well, certainly. Alright. Let's get everybody out. All four people I have right now. Yeah, just one team. That's how I've done the last few missions. I'm severely handicapping myself, but uh, I've made it work. We're tough. I got this. Why not? Also, if I use the other team, it would make this way too easy because that's the team I've been using to uh, grind out uh, development units, so they're a little overpowered. <laughs> you know, when I play the station for the first time, I have an OP team. I gotta give myself something of a challenge. Being OP sounds like they should be out. Oh god, damn it, Nichols. But they've also got just a random ass assortment of mobile suits on their team, some of which I don't even think I can use on the ground right now. I'll manage. I'll manage. I always do. If I fail, I can bring the OP team out. Retry. I think you hurt me. You didn't really. Won't do that much damage. Yeah, I knew those group attacks don't really do that much. So that's fine. I just have to kill Char. He'll eventually come for me. Do I have none of the other white base guys? Oh, there they all are. Perfect. This is probably gonna miss. Yep. Kai and Hayato always disappoint me. Always. Yep. Always disappointing. Can't disperse anything. Uh, I'm back Amuro up. I'm not gonna immediately run in there. Alright, let's see what happens.
sure, anti-air on the ground. <laughs> Beam rifle. He's gonna hit me. I don't want to keep these guys too far away from white base, because... Well, they need easy energy uh, regen and health when they're low. I need to get them back inside, like, immediately. I don't think I will lose if these guys go down. I'll have to check once it becomes, well, my turn. I think it might only be Almero and Whiteface. Which makes sense. If Whiteface is destroyed, well, end of mission. Hyper Bazooka Shar, fuck it. Once again, he has less health than me. Oh, less health than Amaro. Why does the Hyper Bazooka look so different compared to what every other version of it I've seen? Oh yeah, we outpace him damage-wise. Perfect. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, if I lose the Gundam, I'm out. White base, I'm out. Okay, it doesn't... If these guys die, it doesn't matter. Perfect, I figured as much. Okay, the fight scenes look way better. They're still a little primitive and simplistic in, uh, well, in Crossrays, the newer version of the game that focuses on all the uh, alternate universe uh, timelines. The attack animations, especially a lot of the higher damaging hitting ones, they're a little more flashy and cool to look at. But then again, it's the alternate universes where a lot of crazy shit can happen. Good old Trans Am, Seed Mode stuff, Alaya Vignana. <laughs> I got a lot happening in those seasons. You got borderline super robots. Well, in Double O's case, it literally becomes a super robot. <laughs> uh, I want to kill that one over there. Let's get the full stuff. Get it. What? Jesus Christ, Nichols. I'm gonna have to fix that. Alright. PJ, you can get in and kill this thing as well. Gatling, and just to make sure it dies. There. That's a dead act guy. No, oh, just not. It's just kind of become the ship that's uh, there to house the development uh, mobile suit grinding team. So, at least for now, I have a Medea for the ground and a Salamis for space. And the last few missions have been easy enough with just a single team. I don't even have a full team deployed, actually. I'm missing one member. Yeah, fuck okay. it. You can get in there and wreck face. Yeah, I think PJ's gonna end up being the, uh... You know, the, like, the MVP of this match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's two act guys there left. No more act guys at the bottom. Three there, and then the three. Or is it three or two? Three act guys and Shar Zagak up top. Well, let's try to make these guys do something. It's probably gonna miss. Holy fuck, Hayato, you actually hit something. Yep. Kai, please hit it. Please, please, please hit it and kill it. Thank you. Uh, let's 
move the Medea a little closer to everybody. Just so they can all get in there in case I need to recharge them. Uh, you're pretty low, so back into white face. Hit him with the hit him with the flail, the giant fuck off flail. I know Tamino hated that thing so much. <laughs> you have a rocket boosted flail. <laughs> God. Char, you're a terrible shot. Oh, Char's almost dealt with. I got plenty of energy. Yeah, I'll just go this way. Alright. I don't need to use the Gatling, I'll just use the beam rifle. Gotta conserve energy somewhat. I just wish Nichols wouldn't stop missing every shot they take. Ugh. Um. Yeah, let's try hitting with the hyper bazooka. Nice. Char, you're just gonna die. Yeah, look at that. Your Zagok was kind of crap. Alright. What? Who is this pilot pressuring me? Char, you bastard! He got away! Wasn't that hard? Oh, that's a lot of gauze. I'm over Jabbero now. Ready! Mobile suits! Prepare to descend! Sir! Zaku's goofs and doms. I still got the act guys down here. Enemy formation spotted over Jaburo! It's an entire fleet! What? All units! Prepare to intercept! Don't let any Xeon get through! A huge number of enemies have landed! The enemy will target the white base, too! Ugh. All I can do is fight! Damn straight. Okay, that's not a lot. I'm at the bottom. Can't let any more of the enemy get in! Damn! Zeon bastards! You made it to Jaburo! Now die! All right, what else is showing up now? Oh. Okay. Evade. You're probably not going to evade. You're a big-ass fucking warship. Yeah. I saw that coming. Oh, you son of a... You guys are going to keep attacking it, huh? That's a problem. That's a problem for you, buddy. Take the crit. Okay, those guys don't come immediately. Oh, fuck. I gotta go up top now, don't I? Oh, I see. They're all gonna come from there now. Alright, alright. That, that makes sense. Or from the bottom. Okay, they got two entrances to get in. Interesting. I 
right, now it's the Zock and Gog's turns. Why is this song playing? <laughs> Just why? Kai, support uh support Amaro. As best you can, buddy. There you go. Amaro is almost out of power. See why I said good luck now? Eh, I, I think I'll manage. Might be able to get one more attack in. There, Akahana's gone. not gonna be able to gen yet, but I can get you close by. Okay, you need to get in there immediately. You're about to die. Alright, uh, come on. Don't fail me, Nichols, please. Eh, close enough. And eh, just to be safe. There we go. That's a dom down. And you need to recharge. Damn it, Jen. Kind of my, you know, supposed to be my ace in the hole here. Now it's slowly becoming PJ. <laughs> oh, good. I love it up. Let's finish that off. A little more attack. Oh, excellent. That's what I was waiting for. We were the Ripper. There we go. There, PJ's kind of got that all on their own. Mostly. Until they get hit. Also low on health and energy. Uh, I can at least get them an energy recharge. Keep them in the fight a little bit. Once I wipe out the sides here of those act guys, it'll be just dividing my forces up to cover top and bottom. Actually, where's the most of these units at? Are they at the bottom? Yeah, majority of these units are at the bottom, so I'm going to have to keep most of my guys down below. After we take out the rest of the act guys. EXP, quick, high vi- yeah, fuck it. Use it on myself. Alright, good. I can do some crits. I'm gonna need to, to hopefully one-shot some of these guys. Perfect. Alright, that's it for the left side. I can't get into the Medea yet. Actually, let's do that. Oh, you actually got a little... How much do I have? Uh, oh, I'm actually good to go for a little while. All right. Let's keep you there. PJ can stay there for now. Jen has barely seen... Oh, she's over halfway done her energy, so I'm going to have to throw her back in here soon. And I can't sortie anyone else there yet. They've already done their things. All right. I 
Thank God the white base heals after, you know, every... Once it's our turn. Right, let's hit him with a regular beam rifle. A little more accurate. There we go. Damn it. Hi, welcome to die. Oh, he actually didn't die. Amazing. Ah, he knocked me out of vigor. Out of my high, high vigor shit. Damn it. That sucks. Oh well, I can get it back. Alright, he just gotta evade. They have no one to attack yet. Alright, who's coming next? Thankfully, when they come down, they can't move immediately, so that's the only respite I have. Yeah, I see the benefit of having a second team, but every other mission, I didn't even need to have a second team in here. They really ramped up the difficulty. Yeah, yeah, the Zock and the two gogs making their way in. Why are they playing this damn song? It's... There. No, not that. Hit the goof. Really let me down. Alright, Gundam's gotta go in because he has no power. Kai is going immediately inside. I'm sorry. He can't really do jack shit. Alright. Let's get Jen in nice and close. This off with just the regular beam daggers. I don't need to use Reaper the Ripper. Uh, no, let's save energy with the beam saver on this guy. Zaku isn't super dangerous, but it's the only thing I could target right now, so let's wipe her out. It out. As much as- ah, I can't even wipe it out. I'm not high figure anymore. Alright. Get right in there, PJ. Reaper the Ripper, these assholes. Oh, I can do a lot of these. Shockingly. Doesn't take that much energy. <laughs> Alright. Now it's gonna be even stronger. I should also up my defense a bit. Quick moving and sway, that's not gonna help me. Let's try to get the act guy's attention. 
Well, I got my attention. Yeah, no wonder your mobility is some absolute shit right now. And you've got, like, no power. Oh, well, let's try. There. There. Just, uh, finish wiping those out. Everyone gets to level up. Holy Moses. Alright. This is going to become a problem really fast. So I'm going to have to really bring everybody up. These guys I'm going to kind of ignore. So next turn I'm going to have to bring everybody up here. Hope to God I don't fail. Dodge. Damn it, white face. At least you have a lot of health. Okay, you have a lot of health, but not that much health. Oh yeah, sure. Just uh, hit the gun tank. That's fine. That's fine. Less fine. Okay, that's all. Almost all their forces up top are down here now. Yeah, this is a fucking major problem. Let's get Kai out here to maybe do some fire support. <laughs> Kai, you're really letting me down here, buddy. Alright. Amaro, get in there. Don't need to do support for this. Okay. That's better. Okay, now we'll do some support. Alright, the Dom's almost down. Those I'm most worried about. The Dom's hit a little too hard for my liking. There we go. Now Amaro's gonna be critting all the time. I can't do jack shit, right? Yeah, I can't even disperse for ranged attacks. Cause that kinda sucks. Okay, you gotta go inside cause you don't have a lot of power left. Gonna ignore that. Kind of slowly move everybody except PJ, I guess. <laughs> I was let PJ keep finishing him off down here. <laughs> There's only like how many left from the going coming in from the bottom? A single Dom. And okay, there's literally just a single Dom left down below. DJ back inside the Medea. What can I? That's not even gonna do that much. Fuck it. Do it. 
still hurts it. All right, Amaro, you've got one more thing you can do. Let's hit the key. All right. Nichols will be able to do something on uh, their next turn. I don't think I'll be in range yet. And once I bring the Medea up a bit closer, I can deploy Nichols and J I mean, uh, PJ and Jen, and then we should be okay. White base, you just gotta hold on a little longer. That's all you gotta do, hold on a little bit longer. Yeah, you're at the halfway point. That's dangerous. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, oh, I'm fucking done for. Yep, I lost. Yep, white face is down. Yep. Yep. Retry. Okay. Medea down. Alright, I can... Hold on, I gotta change this, because I don't think some of these can be used on the ground. Oh, you can, you can. Okay, they can all be used on the ground. That's fine, okay. That's fine. Alright. I'm actually gonna use the bathroom real quick, because I gotta go, and then we'll redo this. I can go a little quicker on it now, because I got more people. So I'm gonna be able to finish off some stuff quicker. So, uh, BRB.
And I am back. And I can't believe I have to do this. It's been forever since I've had to use that command. Fail command solely for the G Generation games. The, the Now the second one I played. I'm still mad that it's been 15 times. A lot of those were from good old, uh... Good old double O. Try this again. Make it a little easier just so I have more people to move around. In fact, I'm probably going to start moving the carry base up to kind of reinforce the top because that seems to be where the most uh, people show up uh, in the second half of the mission. Because I had the bottom all on lockdown. Yeah, I'm thinking after this mission, I'm gonna have to, uh, bring a second ship now, because that, yeah, that difficulty did just kind of get ramped up a fair bit. Well, let's use the Efreet first. There we go. Fucking Christ, this thing is gigantic. <laughs> Crits immediately, once he just comes out. <laughs> They took down that entire squad of act guys over there on their own. <laughs> and the Methus can still move. Is anything going to be in range? Yes. Just to fuck some shit up. The Methus can at least move fast.
Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's gonna be a lot easier now. Oh, shit. <sighs> Nichols can still attack. Hopefully it hits this time. Oh, look at that. It actually did hit. Perfect. Can and gun tank out here. Oh no, I let Shark come to me. That's right. That's what I did last time. That's okay. Won't do that much damage to White Face. It's only one of them. Guys, don't move. Char moves. Can target, and I'll hit him with the hyper bazooka. I can skip through that. Yeah, I outpace him damage-wise. All right. Let's finish these guys off. <laughs> Then I can mount a proper defensive. bring everybody back into the carry base so I can move them all at once. They're all coming up here to help. <laughs> They've got this down here, like no problem, so I'll move the Medea there. I was gonna sit there. <laughs> My turn. Let's just finish off Shard to start the second half of the mission. 
Ah, it won't let me skip it because it says it doesn't think I've seen this yet. So I'm just gonna mash my way through this all. Because I already know what's happening. Yep, three gauze drop off a fuck ton of mobile suits. and a Zock appear. That's fine. Okay. Alright, let's make a, a defensive line here. No one gets through. <laughs> yeah, Akahana down. Let's just deploy everybody that I can deploy. I just have to deal with what comes down the elevator and then the three up top. Which I'll let them kind of show up as they show up. Get you to recharge. Get the Gundam to recharge. Kai gets to stay out because he's still full power. Enough power left. You're still fine. That should be good enough for now. I will figure that stuff out as it goes along. And there comes the welcoming party. Guys are slowly moving up. God, I hate that it uses this song for whatever reason. Beam dagger, you.
charge. You're still okay. I'm still fine. I'm more than fine. Actually, Jen can go in this way. Don't, don't worry about telling me how to get certain things. I'll be able to figure it all out on my own. I'm not too worried about it. I'll get what I get and uh, use what I can and what I like. So you get a fuck ton of experience. There. I plugged the hole. They cannot get past me now. I'm aware of how the game works. Don't worry. I know that. I have played through the entirety of Crossrays. Carry base. There. In fact, I'm also going to kind of move you to be a little more. Better. There. can't move any further. Yeah, these guys are all gonna drop in here. Which is fine, I knew they were going to. stage had a touch of the manga retelling from the 90s or so and had Char and Co. trash a bunch of mass production gun cannons. <laughs> Could have done the origin version where everyone was in a gym. But I think they actually did a lot better in origin fending off the attack at Jaburo than they did in the anime. These guys needed experience anyway, so it just saves me a little extra time for development time. I hit him with the Strom Faust, why not? <laughs> you just heal away almost all that damage. Alright, time to bring them all out again. Reaver the Ripper this one, PJ. Excellent. This is 69, nice. It's <laughs> probably gonna miss. Yep, yeah. oh well. I gotta work on that for Jen later. One 
The Medea team is just whoever I had left over that seemed to provide the best bonuses for specific positions. Just so I had something that was different from carry base. Because I wanted to be a team full of level 1 stuff while these guys were just supposed to be the you're in there to level up suits enough so I can develop them into new suits to fill out uh, that. The, the carry base team was not meant to actually be brought into fight. But, well, this mission kind of called for it. Yeah, PJ is kind of the MVP right now. She is wrecking face in the pixie. Okay, it was a little overkill to do Reaver the Ripper. And the thing that had like one health left, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's just kind of start pegging away at these guys. The actual mobile suit teams on the Medea crew is going to be custom characters only. At least for now. Until I think I'm going to need to add more crew onto it, just to fill up space. But even then, I'll probably just use actual, you know, Gundam characters that I've slowly started to unlock. Alright, take out the Gog. There we go. Zuda leveled up. And so did this. Do the strong faust, do the shotgun, see how much damage that ends up doing. I'm shooting fish in a barrel right now. leveled up. You, oh, but you can still target shit. I'm literally shooting fish in a barrel right now. It's absolutely hilarious. Okay, you can't target anymore. You can still target that guy. You can target the Zock. And you can target the Zock. Not dead, though. Not yet. Oh, you don't have any more power! You can't target it. Okay. Hey, assholes, out of the way. <laughs> Carry base, up. <laughs> uh, not what I meant to do, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take a group attack, just to finish it off. Everything's gonna level up here now. Let's level up enough so I can develop it into something new. Not yet. One more level. How about the Zuda? Where are you at? I don't think you actually needed to level you up at all. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oh well, you're just here to be here. Ifrit. Well, I can get the. 
Uh, the Efreet Custom or the Efreet Knock, and I believe that's a Kemper. I'll probably get the Efreet uh, Custom. Okay, you need to get to level 4 for your next thing. And the Methus, where are you at? Alright, I can get a Hyakushiki. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take it. Next turn. Next, uh, after this mission. I can level up all this shit. Uh, who's low on actually everything? You. Return to the ship. You're fine. In fact, you don't need to move. No. Alright. Enjoy a Gatling gun, Zaku, too. I'll use a long-range beam rifle. Hope it actually hits. Yeah, it actually hit. Perfect. Yeah, I'll just use the regular beam rifle. There we go. Two more Zakus join the party down here. And the Goose and the Dom are gonna go that way. Figured as much. Oh no, the Dom's gonna come down to the party here. Alright. God, God, this fucking music is so... <laughs> so unfitting. <laughs> okay, well, let's finish that off. The Gogs are dead. I already wiped them out. Gogs were wiped out a long time ago. And yeah, PJ got to stay. For the goof. Down. Yeah, once PJ can pop off, PJ pops off. <laughs> Alright, so we got all this over here. Hopefully, Jen can hit them and not miss. and close to finish this one off. Excellent. Team effort. God damn it. Well, Jen gets another free kill. <laughs> Support from the Medea. <laughs> Alright, so we just got a single Dom that's gonna come down for these guys. And then, yeah, we got these. And... Yeah, that's it. Alright, good. Perfect. You can't do jack shit, so back onto the ship. You're fine, you're fine. Actually, let's bring out, uh... Yeah, let's bring you out. Just to make sure it kills. Damn. The Methus hits harder than this thing.
All right, well, that's everything there. So we just have a single Dom to come down here now. <sighs> okay, who's actually the closest to leveling up, potentially? Nichols is. All right. It's not gonna kill. What am I doing? Let's try to get you to damage the Dom. Perfect. And Nichols gets the final kill. Perfect! Stage clear. Yep, PJ came number one. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? We got Akahana. We got Hyper Verniers. That's it. Alright. Let me develop some shit. While I'm here, not form groups. It's easier to do it this way. Alright, so I'll need one more level for you to do something different. Let's go, Hyakushiki! Give me a freak. Give me that freak custom. Okay, you gotta need one more level. Don't wanna do anything to these guys. The Zuda already produced all this stuff, so. It was just there to be there, I guess. So what you can become. Nothing yet until I level you up. Gee, that's probably the Blue Destiny uh, Unit 1. That's definitely the last Afrit uh, model I need. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Any new designs? Nope. Back out. It's going to give me a pilot. This perfect. Okay. I've got a lot of stuff, fanboy. Miss, don't worry, don't worry. I have a lot. I have a lot of mobile suits. I mean, a lot. I've been doing a lot of off-stream grinding for stuff. I have a lot of things I can work with, but I'm working on getting even more. I've got pr pretty much every variant of an RX-78 unit. Slowly, just I need to full armor Alex. Which I can do at any time. I've got pretty much every Zaku variant ever to exist. Yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm all good for that stuff. I don't have a lot of warships to choose from at the moment, which, whatever, I'll get those as I get those. Look at the modifications. So I've already got enough of those on all of our pe my people. Might get them Gundarium for the extra defense. Yeah, I don't have a lot of modifications yet. The Hypervert, the Hypervernier's artwork, that's literally just like the Unicorn's backpack, isn't it? Because that's just the standard, like, uh, RX-78 gym backpack. I'm pretty damn sure that's the Unicorn's backpack. I recognize, like, screw-type things with the extra Verniers next to them. <laughs> like, that's 100% the fucking, uh, Unicorns. The Chobum armor is from the Alex. That I know. Junk parts. They should have just called it the Tem Circuit. The Tem Ray Circuit. Like. <laughs> That's if I want to do hard mode. Put on the junk parts so they're all level 1. <laughs> uh, I don't 
really have enough to buy enough for that yet. Oh well. Actually... Uh, what MSs do I here do I have? I don't really need much anymore. I think I've got... Yeah, I've cleared out your development thing, so... I'll dismantle you for money. Same with the Zaku one. I only need one Zaku tank, so dismantle you for some money. Yeah, done with the Zuda, so I can dismantle that also for some money. Zaku cannon is done, so I can dismantle you for some money. I'm keeping these guys because I want them to be on the main team. I just need to find pilots for them. Or get pilots for them at some point. You I can only use in space, you piece of crap. Or whatever. I'm not too worried about pilot variants. If I want them, I'll, you know, get the pilots, make it again. But right now, I'm just looking at the, you know, the right now. The here and now. What do I have on me that still has development available? That kind of thing. I'm annoyed I'm going to have to play a space mission just to upgrade this fucker, but whatever. It's- I at least have it. It's here. Eventually gotta do the direction. I'm gonna say it now. Weird, very weird choice, in all honesty. For them to make the full Burnier just a toggle on whether you want the GP01 or the full Burnier version. Rather than them being two separate suits. Let's just go back to develop. Where are you? I don't know why I can't toggle it right in. I probably have to go into uh, form groups to do it. Or to deploy you. At least I thought it was a toggle. I'm pretty sure it's a damn toggle. Oh no, when I buy it, it's a toggle, I think. Let me find it. It's gonna be one of the more higher costing ones, if I recall. There it is. Oh, that, it's square, yeah. It's a toggle. But I mean, I'm, it's fine. I, I kind of get it, but I mean, they could have made this two separate machines. But they just made it a toggle, so land... Space. It's got more mobility as space, but it does shittier on the ground compared to. Yeah, this one. Interesting choice to make just that a toggle. Wait, so can I actually do that with these? Yes, actually, it is square. Okay, I just couldn't read right. Yeah, very, very interesting choice to have the regular GP01 and full Burnier just be a uh, toggle. When other ground variants of suits are their own development plan. But whatever. Save that just to make sure it saves. That is all I am going to do uh, for today. I think one's good enough because now I'm actually getting a lot more hungry than I thought I would. A lot of ground only versions of gyms are B in space. Interesting. Very interesting on that. I don't even think I can. Yeah, I don't. I can't bring stuff like the ground Gundam and everything into space because they're literally unfit for it. At least until I put them on a, you know, like a base jabber or something. But get just the regular is just like, yo, what up? I can just work in space, no problem. But then I can't bring space only units onto the ground, even with like a base jabber. It's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. 
is what it is. At least, uh, at least it's not frickin' what's it called? Shit, like in goddamn uh, Crossrays with that one double O mobile armor that could literally only be used underwater, and under and any maps with water aren't exactly super common. So it's like, why does this exist? Why is it here? At least the wing mission, wing in Cross Rays had the good decency to not even give us the Cancer or the Pisces. Because, like, what is the point? They were rare, barely used, there's barely any water anywhere, so don't bother. <laughs> but Double O's like, no, we need the Trilobite. It needs to be in the game. It's there for a single mission. And it's not even important, it's just another unit that's there. Fuck, at least the seed suits that go underwater, they could still be used on the ground. Eh, oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, that's what's underneath the mat. Okay, so, uh, probably not gonna have a second stream tonight like I did last time, just because... Probably, probably not, just because I think I got some things going on. We'll see, though. I mean, right now, every, all the streams have just been kind of surprises. But if there is a stream tonight, later on, it'll be more Batman Arkham. Other than that, uh, tomorrow, once again, it'll just be kind of when I believe I'll have time. I'll just do another stream. More than likely, more of uh, this. Because there's only six missions in the Mobile Suit Gundam storyline, shockingly enough. So I can get through it in one or two more streams. But seeing as how this was Jaburo, the entirety of Jaburo, that means um, the next one is going to be Solomon, 100%. And they're probably going to fold in uh, everything that happens with uh, Lala in there as well. It's hard to guess. And then that would mean the last mission is uh, a Bawaku. I'm actually amazed they shortened this so much. But that's fine. Those are, like, really the key points. Like, the key things in general, I suppose. The Gundam's first encounter with Char and it, you know, activating. Encountering Garma. Encountering Ramba Ral. I'm really surprised they didn't have have us have anything to do with the Black Tri-Stars. They were just a mention. Then Jabro's the next huge thing. Actually, I'm amazed Odessa itself wasn't a mission. I could have seen Odessa being a mission. But no, they just talked it away. Whatever. They could have had it, had a seventh one, just Operation Odessa, just to throw in the Black Tri-Stars in some way. But they didn't. It is what it is. I mean, then again, there's a million fucking series here that have missions for this game. Like, oh my god, side story galore. God, by the end of this, my units are going to be so, super uber powerful, like... Because it's not like with Cross Rays where I was limiting uh, suits to that universe to use. This is all the Universal Century, so everything is fair game. <laughs> if I tried to limit it by, like, what was actually being used during that time, it might be a little harder, but everything is so all over the place. It's like, what's the point? I mean, a good chunk of it takes place in 0079 and 0080, around that time frame, so it's like, okay, everything from the One Year War. If I go into Zeta, I'm kind of pigeonholing myself. Double Zeta uses the same stuff from Zeta and then some. Char's counterattack has like fuck all. Unicorn is just like, have at it. Literally every suit ever is in here. Everything. Just everything. We bring it all back. <laughs> but that's that's another thing. Whatever. I don't have to limit myself as much as cross rays. I can just use whatever suit whenever. So everyone is gonna be really powerful. Though I'm probably, though, from, if you kind of noticed in my, um, uh, custom character team with, that's part of the Medea, the mobile suits I'm using are kind of all RX-78 variants. I mean, I got the Pixie in there, units 4, 5, 7. I threw in the Alex and the G3 as well. They're just there. I think, uh, even the, uh, the Mudrock or Madrock, however you want to call it. So, unit 6, that's in there too. 
they, I at least made the heavy Gundam. Probably gonna do a full armor Gundam as well, just to throw into the other spots. So when I eventually get some custom characters, yeah, more custom characters, they're gonna be in there. And yeah, the main custom character team will all be RX-78 units. <laughs> so many different versions of them. I'm kind of sad there's no prototype unit and there's no prototype Gundam in this game, which feels like such an oversight. Why? Like, just, why isn't the RX-78-1 in this game? It's an easy reskin of the RX-78-2. And that's the fucking G3, and that's just covered in gray. Done. Whatever. They did whatever they did. I mean, from the units I've unlocked, they have the prototype Gundam Mark II in here. I don't even know that thing existed, and it's in this game. Alright. But no prototype Gundam. Whatever. Well, I'm gonna gripe about literally nothing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching, commenting, and lurking. I do appreciate it very much. I hope everyone has themselves a uh, great rest of their day. And I'll see you next time.